All right. Okay, now listen up. Look, no, look around here. Look. More than that, a chance for Meldrick Taylor to finally erase the haunting memory of his most... Nice at his left shoulder still hurting. The result of his overtraining for his last bout. And is the cut above his right arms to be revitalized in the great shape he professes to be in. Apparently beautiful. He looks like he's well honed and ready to fight. Right now, not wasting any energy. Uh, neither one of them doing much of anything. Out of Taylor has the blazing hand and foot speed and punching power, the punishing body attack that could cause dip. Well, he's doing nothing right now. Left hand. By Meldrick Taylor, particularly at this stage, would be wise not to go toe to toe with Chavez. He told us yesterday he doesn't want uh, Chavez was stumbling, but not really, a, not really a big deal with that punch. Was well, something that Chavez had, does take a little bit of bravery to do. And interesting to see how Chavez tried to stay very close to Randall. I think that he's been getting hit a lot more frequently. That's been uh, the big difference, not giving opponents the angles, getting pop. That's taking his toll after all. He's been at it 90 some odd fights, 14 some odd years. He's gotta take its toll. Straight up right here. Final seconds of the opening round. A feeling out process. Check to this point. Taylor's getting brave now, forcing the action. One of the mistakes he made in the last fight, action. But it figures he's going to come on with the speed. You know what I mean? That's what he's got, speed. And he better do it in the early rounds. The speed, a key to the Taylor attack. But he also said he feels much stronger now than four and a half years, which we are seeing, and different looks to try and confuse the champion, Chavez. I don't think anyone was surprised to see Taylor was seeing. Chavez got in one really good hook just then. It kind of put him back, Taylor back on his hooks to the body, relentless pressure, try to wear down the opposition, then go in for the finish in the later rounds. We haven't seen much, although the scorecards up to the point of the unintentional butt were questionable. Oh, here's a little warning. Keep those punches up. I mean, he certainly has no kind of... Uh, Aggressive spirit here. He's just kind of letting the other guy exercising extreme caution. Now that's Chavez. I'll tell you what, Mildred Taylor's forcing him to fight right now. Coming out, coming out here to do a little more work, but it's, Taylor's doing the job. He's answering the call. And a vicious right. We're really strong, and if he takes it, then boy, we're in for an exciting night. He's subdued, a little tentative right no, now. There's nothing. Sensing to, the moment. There's nothing to scream for. Your man, his man, uh, done nothing. He never started quite this slow. Yeah, but there's nothing that quiets the crowd like his, his guy not coming on. They're Taylor, pouring it on. Taylor's speed is making the difference right here. Chavez can't get to him first. Chavez is waiting for that one shot like he did in the in the uh, 12th round. He's looking for that one shot. Out. The champion. Oh. Body shots by Chavez, but having no effect on Taylor. This is where Taylor oh, Chavez will work on you. He'll work on you. That's not all going to be one punch. It's going to be a series of punches over. They cut the point from Taylor. Third warning. Poor Taylor. Keep those punches up, says Bills Lane to Taylor. Third blow by Julio Cesar Chavez. Good exchange there. Yeah, Meldrick's good. Uh, eyebrows all arched up like that. So that third round ending with some bad blood. A good round for Taylor, but he loses a point. Low blows have been a little unusual. They haven't been head on, face on in the in the real delicate area. They've been on the hip on the rear end. Probably some kind of referee disputes and things. What he said he'd do. Now he's dancing around, showing a lot of different looks. Chavez got a left hook in there, but back comes Meldrick Tanner. Got a shot in with a right to the head. And Tanner <laughs> playing to the crowd. He's not landing enough of it. <laughs> and he's looking frustrated. Frustrated as he did when he fought. Needs anybody to feed energy to Taylor because, boy, he's got it from four years back. Yeah, he's still upset about what happened four and a half years ago. But right now... Oh, look out. That was a slip. That's a total true. That's true. That was no punch. Less than 30 seconds to go in round four. Chavez right now, he's not being able to get the timing down of Taylor. Taylor's working nice. Good, quick shots, not hard. Taylor looking inspired, but now Chavez, look at this. Because Meldrick has been making this an interesting fight. Up to this point, Meldrick Taylor. Chavez is beginning to land with more frequency now. Oh, a right by Meldrick 
Montana. Got to cut out the hot dog. Chavez still seems to be waiting. To Double left hooks by Melvin Tanner, sending the champion back. Because he's, he's certainly not giving delivering at the beginning of this round. Oh, furious exchange. Yes, Tanner got the best of that exchange. Flow. Chavez, a slapping shot. Now Tanner sh showing some of that little hand speed that he had when he was young. Yes. Pressing the issue nicely, but most of this is getting blocked by Chavez. He's waiting and laying a little trap. They have a good point. He's been fighting guys away 147, 154. Physically, he might be a little stronger. Hang off. He, he made shot. Chavez look like come on, come on, come on. he's in slow motion. Once. You ready? But Julio, okay, the trooper, ready. says, forget the five. Let's go. By Meldrick Taylor. Meldrick is forcing the action. He's making Chavez goes back. Well, he feels Chavez can't fight going backwards. He's got... That was a slip. No knock. You know, he's, he's got to bottom of those shoes. He, he's got to fight hard, Bob. He's got a point taken away. Nation against the rope. But Taylor showing the chin. Taylor answering back. The Taylor energy expended. We've got a replay of the first fight. From 1990, it is a war! Oh, what a right hand by Chavez! I buckled him. Non-stop action! Right hand by Chavez! Oh! But Tanner, showing the heart! Oh, unbelievable! That their boots are in the center of the ring! But they also took a point away. So that's a 10-8 round. We're in an even fight as far as I'm concerned. 56-50. Drew and our two unofficial judges call it even to this point. Look, no question that Chavez coming alive here the last couple of rounds. Well, Meldrick's doing a little running now. From the mouth, just like in the first fight. He's got the legs. He's not supposed to be fighting in here. He told me he wasn't going to do it. He reverted right back to fight four and a half years ago. Did round three, and again in round six. Listen to this crowd. Now Chavez stalking. Go toe to toe and brawl. With Julio Cesar Chavez, just like in the first fight. Fought the bait, he fell into that trap and he started punching again, and it's already debilitated him immeasurably. You can could, you could just... Mouth of Meldrick Teller. He lost so much blood in that first fight. His eyes are puffing up again, as they did in that. Chavez. I'll tell you what, there's no quitting Meldrick Taylor, that's for sure. Leaning from the mouth again, he's starting to get puffy. Taylor looking very fresh despite the punishment. Fighting courageously after getting tagged. Able back to the jab. Good extension by Chavez. Snapping right. Taylor's right, head back. Come on, we'll set back clean. Here we go, here we go. Julio's just looking for a spot. He knows when he hits, he hurts now. Now it's a question of addition. How many of these is he going to... Going to the head.